done and uh, begin um, this call and say that, welcome everybody. It's Monday, October the 4th, where Jory and I are sitting in um, Maui, where many of you are. It's already October the 5th. And this is the Open Hearted Practice Group. I'm really excited that we're beginning a new series today uh, based on the uh, matrix, um, which is also known as the Pathways to Liberation. We'll talk more about it, so you don't need to know what any of that means right now. And uh, I'm feeling really uh, excited and relieved that the call is underway. Uh, we were having some electrical problems uh, earlier today, and so I was just a little bit worried that something might go awry. And um, I'm really relieved that we're here. How are you, Jory? Oh, I feel a little bit tired and also excited at the same time. So I'm just uh, glad to be here. And uh, it, it just, it feels like such partnership when I look around at all the faces and feel that sense of community with all of you. So thank you. I'm really glad you're here and we'll see what we learn together. Jim and I talk about what we're gonna do before we start, but who knows? We take left and right turns. We'll see where we go. <laughs> Yeah, we, we do have a general plan, which uh, yes. goes like this, if it's your first time with us, the calls last for two hours. We don't take a break, so we invite you to take care of yourself in any way that you need to, like to stand up or stretch or turn the camera off and go to the bathroom or whatever you need to do. Please just take care of yourself during the two hours. Use that as an opportunity uh, to cultivate your own vitality and live from your own choices. And um, we'll start after these uh, few preliminary remarks with uh, uh, Jory's going to lead us in a self-connection exercise. She'll say more about that. Then we will do uh, a small group check-in. We'll, we'll divide you up into small groups and we have a check-in question for you today. Jory will tell you about that. Then we'll come back to the large group and we'll dive into the, the um, practices for today. Uh, which will be focused on the skill of presence and also just a little overview about what we call the matrix. And after the lesson and the practice, which will include uh, some more small group work if things go according to plan, we'll all come back together at the end about um, uh, 15 minutes uh, before the group ends and do a, a harvest. We find out what, what you're taking away and also if you have any advice for us about how to make the next calls uh, even more effective for you. And so with that, Jory, I turn over to you for a self-connection exercise. Okay, and before I do that, just uh, for those of you who have joined in the last few minutes, we ask you to put an equal sign before your name if you do not want to be in a group for the breakouts. It's usually, I imagine Jim's doing the breakouts, it's usually three people and it's an opportunity just to ground and have some one-to-one -one connection, but it is optional. So put an equal sign in front of your name if you're not wanting to do that. I just realized um, one other um, kind of bit is that at the bottom of your screen, it says uh, CC or live transcript. So uh, you can turn that on for yourself. Uh, that can be especially helpful if we start talking too quickly or if English isn't your uh, preferred language or first language. Uh, we actually learned how to do that from one of our uh, Japanese friends. So we always try to remember to turn that on. Additionally, you can uh, make a live transcript appear on the right side of your screen that shows who's speaking and, and uh, what they just said as well. So that's kind of cool. And with that, Jory, I turn it back to you. Thanks, Jim. Thanks everybody else for being here. And so we're gonna do a, a self-connection exercise that gives you an opportunity to practice some presence during this time. And it's about really just starting with just being present to your environment just looking around and just noticing and just being present to noticing.
as you look and you take in whatever's around you with that attention, this is presence. So just be present right here, right now. And then tune in to your ears and be really present to what you hear right now. If your mind wanders, just coach yourself gently back to just being present to what you hear. And maybe thoughts are arising. Just give them permission to be with that same noticing presence. And then shift your attention and be really present to any smells that you might notice around you. Maybe even put your, bring your hands up or pick up something on your table and just notice if you, notice what, whether there's a smell you can identify. Again, if thoughts arise, just notice those too. And just be present to thinking. Just notice what's going on now. Where's your attention? And if you're willing, shift your attention to the taste in your mouth. And then I invite you to actually put your attention on what do you want to happen here? What's the best thing that could happen for you? So just put your attention there and with that question and see what arises.
And then Jim, are you ready with the breakouts or I'll keep going there? Okay. About uh, 30 more seconds. Okay. So in about a half a minute, you will have an opportunity to be in your breakout groups. Again, if you do not want to be in a breakout group, put equal before your name. And when you're in your breakout group, share what your name is and where you're, where you're from, where you are right now. And then what's your hope for coming here? You made a choice to join this group. What's the best thing that could happen for taking this precious life energy time that you have? and spending it here. Okay, I'm ready to go. And then, third, and then thirdly, what can you do? What's one thing you could do to maximize you getting your needs met during this, this two hour period? Okay, so Jim? Yeah, so uh, here's the deal. Um, we've had uh, about 10 or, or so people arrive. So some of you will be alone in the room for a few minutes until I get folks uh, settled in with you. So we'll do this breakout room for uh, 10 minutes, plus there'll be two minutes at the end. You'll, uh, you'll get a little uh, two minute countdown timer at the end. And when, when you get the, um, the message that the breakout room is closing, just ignore that other than just to note that you've got two minutes left. But there's nothing that you need to do. Um, and we do not record what's going on in the breakout rooms. So that does not happen. There's no way to do that. But we do record what happens in the main room. So if you choose not to go and want to come back to the main room, sometimes we get to do a check in here, or answer questions or something like that if, uh, if something happens. And that will be recorded unless we decide to turn it off for one reason or another. So with that, I will open up. And I put the, I put the prompt in for the breakout group in the chat. So you'll follow those questions unless your group decides they want to do something else. But check before you do something else. Okay. Because there'll be the expectation for everybody else that this is what you'll be doing. Yeah. All right. And uh, we do have a Mandarin group today and a Japanese group. And I was able to meet your request, Sifa. And uh, we'll find out what happens next. We'll see you all uh, in about uh, 12 minutes or so. Enjoy if um, oh, you're not back yet. So Jim, I did not want to join a group. So group one might need another person. Okay. So if you could start at the bottom of the list and put people where they belong. I see. Okay. I'll, I'll do my best too with that. All right. Hey, Jim and Jory, just want to say hi while hi. you're sorting out the breakout rooms. Thank you. Thank you for the most incredible weekend. It was, uh, was stunning. You're welcome. You're welcome. Very welcome. Jory? Thank you for playing with us. Jory, you can add me to a breakout room um, that needs somebody if you want. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm, working, I'm working on it. We'll get you there. Oh, Jim. Okay. Everybody that's here, I'm putting into a breakout room unless there's an equal sign in front of your name. Got it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can do it. Okay. Oh, my. It's giving me. Oh, that's because you were moving that person. Okay. I, I kept trying to move somebody and it kept disappearing. Okay. Got it. Yeah, there's one more left here. Okay, there you go. And oh, I didn't see any more. Let's yeah. say. Just uh, not, not going, that person. 
Now, Leslie is still here. Yeah, Leslie, you seem to might be having a Zoom issue. So let's see if I can. Um... So I, left, I left my breakout room. I just wanted to get in another one. If okay. that's OK with you. Sure, I'll put OK, room 24, Jim, because Mickey decided not to join either. I did get in. Oops. Oh, there you go. You There you go. OK. Oh, I'm glad you did that because well, whoever else was there, she was by herself. Okay, so I'm gonna move Nikki. Let's see what we got now. Nobody's unassigned. Um, Except for Jan. Hi there, Jim. Hi. Yeah, uh, it, it, yeah, I know how difficult it is. And um, I ended up being in a room with Daphne who did have an equal sign in front of her name. And okay. the room said no breakout room room. So <laughs> okay, good. But I, I, was I will gonna... join and find out if uh, well she did she chose to join. So no, she she's, there, in, she's in the no breakout room. So but basically Jan Jan got put into the wrong room. And Jim, leave her there because she could leave if she wanted to, but she has well, shown Jan, up. Jan, just, so. Jan, I'm talking to Jan right now. Jan, would you like to oh, go to um, the room? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just want to be flexible. I'm happy for a little bit of connection. Um, uh, and Daphne's happy by herself. <laughs> so okay, um, gonna... if you would like to send me somewhere, I'm happy to. Um, OK, here uh, we go. Thank you. OK. Let's see what we got here. Okay, here's Nancy. Welcome, Nancy. We're just doing a little check in. She's not available to be moved yet. She's still connecting to audio. We'll find out if she wants to go before we move her. Hi, Nancy. Welcome to the call. Would you like to go to a check-in group? And Hi, Bruce. She's still connecting. Now her audio is not up yet. OK, there's Rosalina. Hi, Rosalina, Rosalina do you want to go into a breakout group? Sure. Sorry, just unmuting myself. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jory. Congratulations on the book. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to put you into room 14. Here you go. Okay. Oops. And Sorry to burst into the room. This is Kristen. I Hi, took Chris. my AirPods off. I apologize. And when I took my AirPods off, it kicked me out okay. completely. <laughs> All right. Oh. Let me see if I can. I don't know if I can. Do you remember it's what a, room it was or who you were with? Uh, uh, Sarah, who has the Care Bear picture and the, the lady from India, um, Juliana. Juliana. OK. OK, so that would be room 14. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Again, I'm sorry to in, interrupt. Oh, it happens. <laughs> no worries. Thank you. And Nancy, I assume you don't want to go or you would speak up. Hi, Nadine. Jim, are you putting KR? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, she's she's there now. Yes, I'd rather not go. It's my first time. I'd okay. rather just listen in. Okay, Nancy. Hi. So Nancy, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put I, an equal I, sign in front of her name, Jury. Exactly. I wanted to check with you to let you know that we we would put the equal sign, which means you won't go into breakouts. That's why your name now says equal in front of it. Right. It's just our okay, sign. Thanks. So we can keep track when we do. Hi Nadine, just... would you like to go to a breakout room? Hi, yes, I would like to. <laughs> okay. huh. I'll find one for you here. <laughs> Yeah, nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. And sorry for being late, but it's uh, four thirty when you start no. here in Germany. <laughs> <AM. laughs> oh. No problem. Yeah, That's you can't here. be too late here. We don't have any of that judgment. <laughs> People yes. come and go, and it's fine. Okay. And and just so you know, since you're you're coming in a little late, there's over a hundred people. So when it and the breakout group ends, not to <laughs> feel too overwhelmed. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, delightful. Okay. Wow. 
here we are with a uh, hundred and some odd number of people here. Yeah. This is the largest one of these groups we've done. Yes, now I need to go get ready for the next little piece. You're gonna do the debrief when they come back. Okay. And um, so let's this see. is all being on the recording. So people who are watching this recording will also get a little behind the scenes uh, details about what it's like to be Jim and Jory. Well, you guys are in breakout rooms. We're still trying to figure stuff out here. So there's, a, I think there's over a hundred people here. Yeah, 112 on, last yeah. time I saw. 112, yeah. I'm glad our Zoom will do it. I guess it's the same Zoom we used over the weekend. Wow. I'm ready. Hey, Isabel, welcome. There's Hi. only, um, you can check in here if you'd like. We have about uh, two minutes before the four breakout. Four minutes. Four minutes before the breakout rooms close. How, and Shuba, welcome. Would you like to check in here, Isabel? Four. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm so sorry. I had to leave the other room and it just took forever, but my, in my heart, I wanted to be here at the get-go. <laughs> Okay, good. No You're welcome whenever you arrive. It's fine. <laughs> I am mourning, deeply mourning the loss of a friend who passed away last night, somebody oh. who had um, influenced my life so much that I dedicated my first book to her mm. uh, 20, 20 years ago, and she passed away in sleep last night in California. Mm. So I, and I That's also celebrate jory aren't you happy <laughs> jim <laughs> you happy yeah yeah and just holding you with tenderness too there's, there's a piece of your heart that's shifting form yeah yes yeah mm. so my other session was related to i had a chance to mourn a little bit uh -huh. but i am ready for okay. what will happen today thank you isabel i'm glad yeah. you're, i got your note i really appreciated your note thank you for sending it to me and shuba are you here would you like to check in if everybody's in breakouts right now shuba so that's why there's just a few of us yeah so you want to check in? So hi. hi, I'm from India. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what? Um, actually, I joined right just now, so I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, Wait, maybe you could just say where you're calling from. India. I'm from India. Ah, great. Welcome. And um, why did you decide to come here today? I'm just curious about how people contribute and how you respond to them. Because uh, last week I lost my brother and uh, I don't know how to respond to his wife, like my sister-in-law and how to console her because she is in deep sorrow. Mm -hmm. we, are, we all are too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Are you really motivated by learning and service to be here? Thank you. Mm. And uh, Yene, welcome. Mm -hmm. Would you like to do? You would, would you like to do a, a quick check in with us? There's about uh, what? Uh, Fifty seconds left. <laughs> Sorry, actually, actually, I've lost my internet connection, so I just, uh, you know, uh, drop out from breakout room. Okay. So I, I was there. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so my my connection is not very stable, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Were you were you in the Mandarin? But I think it's almost finished. Yes, it's almost finished. Were you in the Mandarin group? I can put you back in there when you get for the next. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, Mandarin group with uh, Oilam and uh, Christine, yeah, and Sharona. 
Yeah. Okay. We'll put you back. Thank in you. Okay, everybody, we'll be back in about five seconds. And Jury, you're going to do the debrief. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Ah, so welcome back. I'm really delighted to see all your faces again and for us to be in this group. It's actually quite a large group. It's 120 people here today. And so I would love to hear maybe a couple of you, anything that you would like to say about how you are and what you would like during our time together. It was an either or or both. Anybody want to check in? Okay, I see Nikhil Ananda. Yeah, mine's really quick. Uh, uh, I was so impressed with the, though I was very rare uh, this weekend, um, and I just fell in love with you and Jim even more. And I've been coming to the, I went to your house for six years. I live eight kilometers east of you. And for the last almost two years, I've been doing the, uh, most Monday uh, sessions. And uh, I saw that there was 100, now it's 122. And I think the most we ever had was 70 or 80. And so I just love the uh, pandemic for me. I understand people have died and it's really changed our lives. But as a result, I look at the screen and there's all these people from all over the world. And I was just with someone from New Zealand and Egypt. And that would have never happened before when we used to meet in your house. So anyway, mahalo for doing this. Yeah, thank you. I hear that you are really excited about being here and I appreciate you checking in with your feelings and what is alive in you. Thank you. And Sylvia, is it Shiva or? Shiva. 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 Like Shiva. 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 Yeah, that's what I thought. It's simple. It sounded different last time you said it, so I didn't quite catch it right. Go ahead, okay, Sylvia. So, uh, How are you now? I, I'm so happy to have seen uh, Oksan, Oksandra, I still have to learn her name, and my son Aaron, so that was great. Uh, but what, what the three of us talked about was, I mean, it, it all ties in, but right before this, I was in a, a webinar or Zoom meeting uh, on the, the uh, portion of the Torah that we are now in called Noah. And what Noah was, you know, in the Torah, he doesn't have any religion, at least in the, in the Jewish way of looking at it. He, it was before Abraham. And what was Noah all about? Well, it was about um, a flood, you know, that's how I feel like we are. But what, what's the goal? The goal is for humankind to work together so that we don't have to kill each other, that we could spend all that energy getting our problems solved. And what is the way to get our, all our problems solved is obviously NBC, where we listen to each other and then try to work together to achieve, to, 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 to live cooperatively and, and compassionately on this planet. Yeah, so what I hear is your intention is actually to do the work to, for us all to work together compassionately. Thank you. Right. And Whoops, I thought you were done and uh, we're running and, a little and, short and, on time here. So unless... and, and for all of us to be able to make money doing this work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sustainability is important to you too. Thank you, uh, Francesca. And then we'll finish with Lady Dada. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's Dita what Shiva just said, mm -hmm. um, but also I was at a lot of the sessions in the marathon on Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. And at the very end, Jim, you said that you were gonna start presenting the information from the book on these Monday nights. And I'm, you know, I know I already do an NBC practice group every week. Um, been doing that for over seven years. I love learning. I love NBC. And that's, 
that's what I was, that was my hope for. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Lady Dada? Yes, I'd like to reflect back so much appreciation. I'd like to give thanks for actually knowing Jim and Jory in real life almost a decade ago, attending the NBC annual conference. And my gratitude to be connected through the email list, even though years might go by and I don't always have the opportunity or the focus to connect. I give thanks for your emails and for your connectedness. I also recognize that practicing is so important and that it's beautiful. You do the work. It's not the same as you doing it for me. So I appreciate that I'm here with my presence um, and I'm giving thanks. What I can do is be here and I am here at least by audio, forgive my lack of video, but I, I wanna thank so much the hundred of participants, but also the thousands of lives that you've touched over the years and you continue to touch virtually and in real life. I have so much gratitude and appreciation to know and be known by you. And I hope that you can feel that and know that forever, even when I'm not connected in real life. So thank you for sharing that space with me. And I'm so grateful to participate and also reflect back that the breakouts were really lovely and so many people from all around the world. Uh, and I hope I can do my part to honor them as well. Give thanks. Yeah, thank you for sharing your heartfelt um, expression of what has really served you. And I'm glad to be a part of it. I just wish I could, uh, maybe one of these days you can come with a camera so I can remember what you look like. I'm, it's fun to know that we met in Santa Barbara. So look forward to that. Okay, so that clears the board. And now I wanted to say a little bit about um, what the intention is. Today is the beginning of what might become um, quite a long adventure, at least 28 weeks long. I'm imagining it might take us more than um, 28 weeks to get through the entire matrix at, at the level of uh, integration and depth that I'm hoping for. And um, if you don't know what the matrix is, it's, a, um, it's a, something that Jory and I, along with uh, Jake Gottwalls and Jack Lehman, uh, the four of us got together back about 2007 or eight, and uh, we wanted to design a tool to support um, self-assessment. And so we worked really hard for about three years. Uh, there's only 660 sentences in the whole matrix document, uh, but it took us three years to write them. And it's because we were driven by some real strong needs Number one, we wanted to, to, um, to do everything by consent. So every single word, punctuation mark, definition, everything that's in there was done by four hearts coming into resonance and saying with a wholehearted yes, we'd like to do it this way. So that was one need that was really alive in us. The other was we wanted to have a, a list of skills that would be the least number uh, of skills possible to express an integrated NVC consciousness. And we actually started with 27, was our final number, 27. It ended up being 28. That'll be a story I'll tell in a second. And, uh, <laughs> and then uh, the, other, the other need that was driving us was uh, clarity. We wanted these definitions and these, this, this uh, progression of development to be as clear as possible. Um, and then we wanted it to be brief. One of the lessons I learned from Marshall Rosenberg was that uh, brevity is power because, and we'll learn more about why, why Marshall had such a deep insight into brevity when we explore presence uh, today. We'll see why he, he was onto something about brain science um, that I certainly didn't have at the time, but I'm really glad that we went for brevity because it supported this, this tool being translated. It's now been translated into 15 languages. 
And uh, all that's done by volunteers. And when Jory and I and Jack and Jake finished The Matrix, we decided that uh, we didn't want it to be a commercial venture. We wanted it to be a non-commercial venture that we had received so much from Marshall and the NVC community that we wanted to give it away. And so we uh, published it with a Creative Commons license with the expectation that people would translate it, maybe write books about it and, and find all kinds of ways to use it. And that's actually what happened. Now it's being used uh, all around the world by um, assessors. So it's your people that help people to go through the pathway to become certified trainers. And I hear stories. I, when I meet people, we, we start talking about the matrix. Every time I learn something new about how people are inventing ways to use this, so I think that that'll happen with you all too, that we'll all learn together about uh, how we can utilize this tool uh, to support ourselves in deepening our own uh, skills and consciousness with nonviolent communication. Yeah, thank you, Jim, because I think it's a really important piece that um, both of us acknowledge that we're lifelong learners. And so every time we do a training, it's an adventure to see what else we'll learn as well. Yeah. And another thing that I learned on our pathway was the importance of measurement. And so, um, you know, I, I had to get over my phobia of, of measurement. You know, I mean, when you even think of the tool, it's called the matrix of self-assessment. It might trigger feelings of dread or um, anxiety because of the way we were treated in schools we might have gotten uh, assessed by people in authority and they didn't see us for who we were. Uh, maybe they didn't even see us for what we did, but we nevertheless got judged with A's and B's and C's and D's and F's and unsatisfactories and all kinds of things like that. So even the idea of assessment might be uh, disgusting or fearful for some of us. But that's why I like about self-assessment was because now all the assessments being done by me and it's a totally private experience. So uh, I get to be, uh, I, I get to stretch into my own honesty, my own self-reflection when I use this tool as a self-assessment. Um, um, and it's, it's terrible. It's a terrible idea to try to use it to assess anybody else. So that's a misuse of the tool. So never, I would never want to hear a sentence like, uh, "Jory, I notice on the matrix that you're really acting like you're at the uh, at the incapable level." I mean, that would, <laughs> would be like a beautiful uh, a tool, uh, like a beautiful piece of art, and hitting somebody over the head with it or something. It's just so out of out of integrity for its use. So yeah. please hold this as a self assessment tool and never use it to judge uh, other people. And so I thought it would be fun to give you the opportunity to start with a self-assessment. So I'm gonna share my, uh, first I'm gonna put a link into uh, your, the chat. So if you're on your computer, you can play this game. If you're not on the computer, then maybe you'll have to do it another time, but you can also try it on the phone. We'll see if this works. I've never tried it on the phone. So the idea is to go to this link, pathwaysliberation.com slash the dash matrix dash instructions. And so I'm going to now share my screen and show you what I see, which is hopefully will be what you see. So it looked like this. It, is it in the book? What was that? I, I have the book. Can I look in my book? Sure, you can use your book. Yep, you can use um, it, it. It comes in about page uh, 15 or 20 or also towards the back of the book. And what we're going to do is we're going to do um, a, a quick self-assessment with strengths and edges. So it's the one on the far right of the screen. So you'll see it there, I'm moving my mouse so you can see it. So what you do, and this is gonna take a, a couple of steps in order to do this, and I apologize, but that's, this will be to your benefit because over time you'll be able to uh, revisit your work and watch how you grow and integrate. So we just click on that button and then you get a, a registration page. So um, just fill in um, your name. Someone, ha someone has their hand up, Jim. Okay. Is that Can you? See it? That's me. <clears throat> hey, you guys. I'm just I'm just wanting a, a ten seconds of empathy. It is thundering and lightning so intensely here, like I've never seen it in my life. <laughs> it's just a little bit freaking me out. 
And I just didn't want to feel too alone in it. So I wanted to just say it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know we're holding you with care. And if it feels yeah, safe, holding you, you. If you knew, then thank you. If yeah. not, then feel free to log off and move away from electrical stuff. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. I just didn't want to be alone right this moment. It's scaring me a little bit. Right. <laughs> so go ahead and just fill in your name and your email address like I'm doing. And then you do the little math problem that you have. It might be different than the math problem I have. This is just a little thing to make sure you're not a robot. So I, I think it's 60 is my, my answer. Good. Click continue. And now you're going to get an email. And when you get your get, so now you need to go check your email. Yes, we're all doing this now, if you're willing. If you're not, uh, you can do it later, but we're, were we were, Jim, were we were we supposed to do something different and not mine just turns it it's very gray and I can't fill it out. Were we supposed to go somewhere else? Yes, it, it, you, now you go to your email. No, I didn't fill it out. It wouldn't let me fill anything out. Oh, well, uh, just uh, try. Same try. for me. Me too. Huh. Jim, nice. are you wanting us to go to your website? Because we can't fill it out on your screen share. Oh, no, I know that. No, you would be. I <laughs> Could you just give that uh, directions again? Yeah. Jim, how about you just have them make columns for yes. themselves right yeah. now? Would that We're able to do all these phases that we did now. You'll have a record, but we'll do it in another way. So uh, since people are having trouble, I don't want to take too much time with the technical stuff. Right. Stop. And then make a go, suggestion. You want us to go online? Is that what you wanted us to do? It, a yeah. separate thing? Yes. It, but but let it go oh, for okay. now. Just let it go for now. We'll we'll go to plan B here. Yeah. If anybody is on there, you can stay there. But for those and of you who aren't, man, just get a piece of paper. But, yeah. but all you need, we'll do it the old-fashioned way for now. Get a piece of paper out. Hey, on the bottom, on the bottom, Jim, if People click on the far left button. There's three choices. You click on that, and that brings you to where you can fill things out. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Rather than take any more time, though, well, how about anyone who can't do it? Just get a piece of paper, make two columns. Three, co three columns. I'll, I'll Are you it. on three columns? Okay. Okay. So you're going to have, uh, and you're going to put the numbers one through 28 on the left hand side of your page. So I'll give you a second to make, write the numbers one through 28 on the side of your page. And then at the top of the first column put, I don't know, the three words, I don't know. And top of the second column, write the word strength. Strength. At the top of the third. And this, and this is this is for the people who didn't get on. Can so, we pause for just one moment? I'm I'm in the world of trying to get the email. Okay. And have, I'm going to grab some paper and a pen. Just need okay. one second. I'm getting lost. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Thanks. It's either or. Either do the continue yes. with your online, which would be the optimal, because then you'll have a record of it. And but if you don't, yeah, the you email is not coming. Yeah, then for then some just reason I'm not getting the email. Okay, then just skip it. Skip it. That's fine. Who does the email come from? Uh, Pathways to Liberation. Yeah. Got it. So at, at this point, in the interest of time, if you have a piece of paper in front of you, and just make Got the it. two columns so we can move forward for everybody. Okay, so we're going to end up with uh, numbers one through twenty-eight on the left. If you're doing it this way. <clears throat> By the way, if you're doing the online thing, you can just turn the sound down and come back in fifteen minutes, and then then we'll be back on the same page. But if you're doing it with me, then stick with me and keep your sound up. <clears throat> So one column is I don't know, second column is strength, third column is edge. <clears throat> so let me just, uh, I don't know means that when you hear the name of the skill, you don't know what I'm talking about. So if I was to say, uh, you know, uh, how to take apart a quantum nuclear reactor, of course you'd have to say <laughs> I don't know because you don't have that skill, okay? So, <laughs> So that's what I don't know means. You just have this feeling of being uh, befuddled and, um, and confused. 
So that's, I don't know. So if you hear me say a skill and you don't know what I'm talking about, check there or click there. If you, uh, if your body says, wow, I know how to do that. So let's say the skill is empathy and you, 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 you already sense your empathic skills because you don't need NBC training to be an empath. All human beings have empathy and, and you notice that and then your body says, yeah, I know how to do that. So then you would click strength or say, or, or tick strength. And the final column is edge. And edge, it just means it's a skill you want to work more on. And you might notice in your body an eagerness or an impulse to go deeper with a particular skill. So I don't know means I don't know and your body will feel confused. Strength means, yeah, I can do that. And edge means, hmm, I'd like to be able to do more of that. Okay. So now I'm gonna list, uh, don't try to write down the names of the skills. Everybody will get a list of the skills later. So ignore, just go stay with your body and, and just do the ticks. I'm only gonna give you five seconds for each, each one. So there's not time to write it. Okay, so first take a moment and close your eyes and take a breath or two if you'd like to get ready to do this self-assessment. Notice uh, any feelings that are alive in you in this chaotic moment of trying to get 125 of us to do the same thing on a Zoom call, it's challenging. Just notice that feeling in your body that you might have. Give yourself permission to have that feeling. And then just think about your NBC practice, just in general. Some of you have been practicing maybe for just a few days. Some of you maybe for a few weeks. Some of you for months or years. But think of where you are right now in terms of your NBC practice. And I'm going to read through this list of 28 skills, and you just check the column that seems appropriate for you. So number one, presence. Presence. And Jory, if you could write the skills into the chat, that might be helpful for some people. Presence. Number two, observing. Observing. Number three, feelings awareness. Feelings awareness. Number four, self acceptance. Self acceptance. Number five, taking ownership of one's feelings. Taking ownership of one's feelings. You're just assessing your general NVC skills. If you want to think of a specific event, you can, but this is just a general self-assessment in answer to the question in the chat. Number six, needs consciousness. Number six, needs consciousness. Number seven, reconnecting to self and recovering from reactivity. You can check, I don't know, it's a strength or it's an edge. Reconnecting to self and recovering from reactivity. 
Number eight, request consciousness and making requests. Request consciousness and making requests. Number nine, mourning, mourning. Number 10, empathy, empathy. Number 11, dissolving enemy images. Could you repeat that, Jim? There was other noise. Yeah, I can't, I can't seem to be muting Mickey for some reason. Mickey, if you can hear me, please mute yourself. For some reason, I can't. Okay. Um, number 11 was dissolving enemy images. Dissolving enemy images. If you never heard of that, click I don't that's, know. That's number 10. N no, it's number 11. Number 11 is dissolving enemy images. If you, if you missed number 10, it was empathy. And it's in the chat numbered if you miss anything. And you'll get a list. Oops, I, oh, yeah. No, I did it right. Sorry. Number 12, discernment. Number 12, discernment. Number 13, living interdependently. Living interdependently. Fourteen, honest self-expression. Honest self-expression. Number fifteen, facilitating connection. Facilitating connection. Number sixteen, Patience. If you're still on the call, you're probably got that as a strength. 16 is patience. 17, responding to others' reactivity. Responding to others' reactivity. Eighteen. Openness to feedback. Openness to feedback. Number 19, beneficial regret. I don't know. Would you, would you give me 18 again before you yeah. do that? 18 is openness to feedback. Thanks. Got it. And 19? Beneficial regret. Got it. 20, flexibility in relating. Flexibility in relating. Number 21, transforming conflict. Transforming conflict. Number 22, gratitude. Gratitude.
Number 23, open-hearted flow of giving and receiving. Open-hearted flow of giving and receiving. Uh oh, my computer just froze. Interesting. Bear with me for a second, a chance to practice patience. Believe it or not, I don't even have a copy of my own book, so I can't look at my own book at the moment. So just take a breath and rest while I get it on my phone. Jim, yeah. I will continue typing into the chat for you. Hey, thank you. So we're at uh, 24, uh, cultivating- I've got it covered over here. So we just have two more. I'll just keep going. Okay, 24 is cultivating vitality. Oh. Mine didn't go through. Oh, that's interesting. Thank you. Number 25 is sharing power. Number 26 is transcending roles. Number 27 is awareness of response ability. Number 28 is supporting holistic systems. And then the last bit is a chance for you to take one minute and write down any other strengths that you have. Any other strengths that you want to celebrate that you have. It could be something like your own resilience or sense of humor. So I'll be quiet for one minute. Say the, can you say the website name again? Pathways to liberation.com. Okay, thank you. So, 
Now, just let it go and go back to that self-connection that you started with and just notice how your body feels now. And if you want to put any needs of yours that were met by this self-assessment, go ahead and put that into the chat while I continue to see if I can get things. There we go. I got something working again. Good. So I can, my screen is uh, somehow, I can't see everything, Jory, so I'm going to need the, your help to be able to, um, to be able to see what, if people raise their hand and stuff, because my computer is still acting up a little bit, something got hung up. But what I'd sure. like, to, what I'd like to hear is some feedback from a couple of people about what you noticed about doing the self-assessment. What did you notice about doing the self-assessment? So raise your hand. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, I see. Okay, Holly. Yeah. Go ahead, Holly. Well, um, the first time I looked at your self-assessment, it was before the training this weekend. And my reaction was, oh my God, I'm probably horrible at all this stuff. And I put it down. And I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to look at it because I went into the shame thing, like being graded in school. That's what happened to me. But after I took, after I listened to so many of the lectures, I did, I did, I'm looking at how many strengths I have on here. And yes, there's a lot of edges too. I'll, I'll admit there's a lot of edges on there, but there was only one. I don't know. I know there's two I don't knows, I think, or maybe only one. Mm -hmm. And I, I am feeling so much more in enthused about uh, pursuing this. I feel better about myself. I'm not going into the shame thing. So the, the weekend was just absolutely wonderful for helping me understand a lot of things. And anyway, I feel good. Thank you, Holly. Thank you. And Jan? Hi, yes. Um, I, I'm glad I got the email. I was able to do it online and I'll submit it any second. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was uh, just every, every one that popping up because I don't know it like the back of my hand yet, but I'm sure I will. Um, it was like, oh yes, that one. Oh, right. That one. <laughs> and I didn't have, I didn't have any, I don't know either. So I'm, I'm kind of shocked, delighted, um, that I didn't have any, I don't knows. Um, I know where the edges are. I did find it a little tough to have to choose between it's a strength or an edge. I wanted something in the middle, um, but that's just me. Um, so I kept telling myself, um, so still some learning here, but I'm on a positive path in the comments. So I liked that I could put a comment to remind me of what I was thinking when I read that one. So yeah, the technology you're providing is, is, in, is fantastic. Thank you. You're yeah. very welcome. And I love that you could make a middle column too, if that's what really <laughs> serves you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And Jennifer? Um, quite the opposite for me. Um, for a start, um, well, I didn't go to all the sessions at the weekend because I found I was exhausted even after watching one or two for, subsequent to each other. That, that that was my first problem. So half of these, um, half of the items, I didn't even know what they were. So of <laughs> course I had to put I don't know down. So I was roughly split between I don't know and strengths, um, which was a slight improvement for me. I thought to at least have fourteen strengths. Um, so it didn't it didn't shame me, but it certainly given me a lot of food for learning to, you know, places that I need to focus on. And for a start to understand what the skill involves. So there we go. Thank Onward and upward. Thank you, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. And we'll finish with Priya. Onward and upward. Yes. I love that. Priyanka. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if, uh, uh, Jim, if other people are facing the same problem, 
but I have some issues with self-assessment. Like uh, every time I put in a uh, Every time I put in something, I'm always doubting whether am I overestimating myself? Am I being too arrogant and like overestimating myself? Or am I being too, too shy and not giving myself the credit? So how do I overcome that? I don't, know about over, I don't know about overcoming it, but I'll bet you're not alone. How many people, how many people are in the same boat as Priyanka? Just put up your own hand if that's the case for you too. Just on the screen, yeah. So yeah. There's lots of folks that are like, I, I, I did this with a group of Brazilians this morning and um, the same thing co comes up and it comes up lots and lots of times. And it's like, we either uh, assess ourselves as being too hard on ourselves or assess ourselves as too easy on ourselves. Both of these are inherent to the self-assessment process. It's part of, actually, it is part of the self-assessment process. As you continue to work with the matrix and with NBC and maybe other, other tools that are important to you in your life, you'll notice more clarity emerging about these, these reactive patterns. So the most important thing for me in the celebration is that you noticed it, Priyanka. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's a huge step. And one of the advantages of being able to see everybody on the screen and to hear other people, you realize that you're not alone. This is, it makes perfect sense. It's part of the moving through a process. And so, yeah, I believe your hand was up next. Mm -hmm. Yen, are you there? Yes. Um, yes, thank you. Um, I, I, I'm really grateful for the for the test and sort of morning that I didn't do it earlier or do the full version. My question is, um, I was a bit frustrated that I couldn't tell uh, the difference between other questions um, referring to me in my NBC life, in which case, you know, most of the things are really good, or me in my sort of personal life out there in the real world in which most of the skills are really uh, edges, right? They're, they're sort of really not on the, on the good side. So that would be a question I have. And I was a bit frustrated because as I was answering the questions, I didn't know which of those two to pick. Thank you. Thank you. That's a wonderful question. And usually as you, as, after this first time of going through the matrix, this is just a general self-assessment. So however you answered it is fine. From now on, when you use the tool, the recommendation is to pick a specific instance in your life or a specific context in your life. And so uh, we'll play with that as we go along. Um, and that, then, then, you, then it tends to narrow the for focus uh, that you're looking at and clarify. That's why you're so, mo so, ma so many of you had both strengths and edges in the same column, because it's true. In, a, in, certain, in certain parts of my life, I'm great at empathy unless I'm really triggered and tired and hungry. That was a big bang. Yeah. There's a big loud bang outside. I might have to go check that out. But uh, uh, I, you want me to go check? No, I, you, you, you have the only power on the Zoom call. So I'll, I'll go check it. Okay. okay. And uh, NVC stand for? NVC? Yeah, you have NVC. Is that a, is that like a, a a radio station or something? Uh, NBC stands for nonviolent communication. NBC? Yeah. No, NV. NV. NVC. So on the on the on the chat, it does look like it says BC because because oh. Zoom Zoom chat doesn't hasn't had a training yet. Oh, oh yeah. okay. So NVC. Yeah. Um, so Lady Dada. This is my wife. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, anyway, hey. could you order something on Amazon? Uh, Lady Dada, are you available? Yes, thanks and praises. So much gratitude. I have a question because no, it came off. out in, in the breakout and because it also was mentioned in the list of 28. Uh, and because I really don't know, and I said in the breakout, wow, I don't know what that is. And then it came up again. I really want to ask, um, could you share more about enemy images? Number 11, dissolving 
enemy images. It seemed like the less, the least nonviolent termed concept of the 28. And I would love some elucidation. Yeah. I appreciate you. Yeah. And as we go along, we're going to be explaining all of them week by week. So if yeah. this, if there's something here that you don't recognize or understand, just put that aside. There are 27 other skills to work with and we'll get to that one too. Yeah. Does that it's... work for you? Yeah. It's terrific i really appreciate that that is a great reflection yeah i think it's a wonderful place to be in the not knowing i mean it's painful for me to not know something <laughs> but uh, i actually think you know i mean uh zen zen buddhists worked for their whole career to try to get to the state that you have now entered so you've just become enlightened this not not knowing is a really <laughs> important stage and to recognize this emptiness that's not knowing, that, that's actually a step in the right direction too. And I laughed when he said not knowing because I live with an encyclopedic brain, my husband. <laughs> so <laughs> not knowing is not one of his strengths. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, maybe it's a strength, but it's not one of your typical characteristics. Not only am I good at NBC, I'm also very good at BS. <laughs> Well, I, I laughed as well, so I really appreciate you both. <laughs> and uh, Camille. Still can't hear you, Camille. For some reason, you're still on mute. Yeah, it unmuted and went unmuted. right back. There you go. Hey, Are we okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I gathered my pencil and pad. Um, so I didn't hear the three categories. I just heard something about edge and something about strength. Yeah. So I have, uh, as a therapist, I've done a lot of pros and cons with people. And I've done, uh, and I've had them rank them from a scale of one to 10. So I just decided I'm going to use a ranking system. And I gave myself one to a hundred on every one. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and so I'll statistically come up with how, how, um, where I stand. Beautiful. I, I, love, I love it when people invent new ways of doing this. I really love that. Thank you. Yeah. So, or wiggle room. So what I'd like to do is give everybody a chance to share now about what your experience of doing this is. Some of you might need a little empathy. Some of you might be hesitant to speak up in a large group. So Jury, if I hope you can open up, um, open up the uh, breakout rooms again and change the timer for 15 minutes to 15 minutes. That'll give me time to re reset my thing and you'll have to do the, um, the adjustments to the thing. So here, here's the two, the, the, the instructions and I can't type them. So maybe if somebody could type these into the, um, into the chat for me. So number one, just do a round where everybody expresses what need of yours is alive having done this self, this uh, self-assessment. What okay. need is, is alive? You're gonna go back into basically your same room. Jim, did you, you want three in each room still? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna keep the rooms the same except that some people have moved around a bit. And so if you find yourself in a room and nobody's there yet, give me a moment and I'll be putting someone there. And if okay. there's only two of you, you're probably gonna find someone else. Okay, don't put them in there quite yet. There's one more question I want them to have. Okay. Uh, so uh, what need of yours is alive is the first one. The second one is um, um, just, was there something about doing the uh, a self-assessment that was a particular celebration for you? Is there something that really lit you up when you saw a particular skill? Is there one of these particular skills that really uh, lit you up and why? whether it's one that you don't have and you want more of it or one that you do have and you still want more of it. And then if there's anything else you'd like to say to your partner. So everybody will have about five minutes to express. And if you haven't turned your camera on yet, we get feedback that when people turn their camera on in the small group, it helps everyone to feel safer. 
So if you're willing to turn your camera on in the small group, please do that. And then the other thing is, if you don't want to be in a group, please put an equal sign or write no group next to your name. Putting it in the chat is a bit challenging because I'm looking at a hundred and some odd names as I move people around. Okay, so Jory, okay. you can open up the group. So have patience if you don't go immediately, we'll do it as quickly as we can. All right, opening them now. Oh, why is my computer giving me a hard time? Oh, there we go. Assign to Sorry, I came back because I was the only one in my room. Oh, okay. Well, um, now someone else is there. Okay. Oh, so sorry. Just, I waited just, for just, hang, just hang out here. It'll take me a couple minutes to put people no in the room. So just hang out here if you would. Whoops. Whoops. Come on, baby. Yeah. Let's see, we have anybody here. Anybody still here and wanting to go into a room? Hello. Hello, Jari. May I go into the Mandarin group? Ah, of course. Thank you um, for reminding me. Thank you. Okay, you and I. Mandarin group. Mandarin group. Ah, there it is. Number, what's the number? Huh, why is it not telling me what room number that is? What a drag. Oh, I see. He just has it named Mandarin. Oh, that works.